good morning. <laughs> oh, um, so much has been going on and I'm super excited to show you the updates of what has been installed. I am, hold on, I'm in the office. As you can see, I'm in the office right now and you guys, let me just, okay, let me just show y'all. So, ta-da, we have built-ins. Look at that. I don't even feel like it's looking as good as it does in person. In person, it's stunning. So there are two big windows on this side of the room which lets in a lot of light, which I really love. By the way, these curtains here, they are temporary. They're not gonna be staying. They're just for right now purposes. But once we get the office furnished, we're gonna get some, you know, more appropriate curtains. But our contractor built this whole thing from scratch. Every piece was built from scratch and it goes all the way up to the ceiling. These shelves are gonna go in each of those. So this top part is gonna be open. It's gonna have shelving and then these bottom ones are just like that. And the craftsmanship on this is just chef's kiss. Look at the bottom, y'all. Look at how he did the bottom. The attention to detail is unmatched and we got a super good price for him to do this. So obviously it's still raw, it needs to be painted. So I'm gonna be, actually let me go grab the, I'm gonna go grab the paint swatches. All right, I got the swatches, <laughs> I got a bunch. Um, I'm going dark in here and I'm probably going to choose from one of these. This one is a little green. I don't know how I feel about that one. But I'm going dark in here just on the built-ins. The rest of the walls are gonna be white, but for the built-in, I want it to be dark and bold and really stand out. So yeah, these are some of the colors that I am considering. Let me actually um, put you guys on the tripod so you can see the scale of the office because I don't think you guys really can tell just how large these shelves are. By the way, we have, t I think they're 10 foot ceilings in here. So these shelves go super high up, but I'll show you guys in just a second. Let me grab the tripod. Okay, so I'm gonna put myself, so you can see the scale of how massive this built-in is. So we got, can you hear me? I don't know. It's almost as tall as me. <laughs> so we got our carpenter to make these shelves, like this cabinet here, extra tall. I believe, Typical height is around 32 inches. And at first he was trying to make them shorter so you could like use it as a desk and you could put stuff on it. But I was like, no, I want this whole unit to look super grand and just oversized. So I had him make it 46 inches so that it could be like, there's gonna be a desk here with a chair and I wanted this to be taller than the, ch the back of the chair. So when you're looking into the office, the it's almost like the cabinetry is towering over you and it makes the room just look that much bigger. So the scale was very important. At first our carpenter didn't understand my vision and he was like, are you sure this is what you want? Because I don't think that he, um, usually people just don't go this tall, but I was like, yes, I knew what I wanted. And when he was like getting to the end of completion, I think he came around and he realized like what my vision was and he agreed like this is the way to go. So I'm so happy with this. We're gonna get, um, we're gonna get this painted, but we also have some other areas in here that we need painted as well. So we're just gonna get all of that done at once. Once the cabinetry is painted, then we're going to start furnishing. We're also gonna put some hardware on the shelves so you can, you know, open it, knobs and stuff. Literally every piece was made from scratch. And um, when he was doing this, I was so amazed and so wild. I don't know, maybe it's because I've never seen cabinets be built before, <laughs> like super, super custom. Knock on wood, I've just been really lucking up when it comes to contractors and finding people to do housework. And he did it super fast. He did this in a day and a half and he put paneling in two different rooms. So he did this built-in, 
He did the paneling and they installed a bunch of curtain rods for us. We got him to put paneling up in the dining room. Actually, let me show you guys. So we got some paneling done in the dining room. We're also gonna get all of this painted. We got just three panels. These on the ends are a little slimmer than the one in the middle. For this one in the middle, I'm gonna put a really big piece of artwork, maybe a picture light up there. Beneath it is gonna be like a console table with the little decorative things right there. Really big table, really cool chairs. It's gonna look really nice. I'm gonna be changing out this light fixture. So that'll be replaced. So we're gonna have him do some more work for us. We have, I'm gonna maybe get some type of wall detailing put into my master bedroom. I haven't quite decided on that yet. I think I'm gonna get it painted first and then see if I wanna add any more accoutrements cause it really does just tie in a space to have the walls have some type of detailing to them. So we'll probably do that. I also have another big update that I wanna let you guys in on but before I do that I have a little bit of a grocery haul so I just got a new box in from Thrive Market let me crank this open show you guys what I ordered this goes round and as y'all know I have been shopping on the Thrive Market site for years but they are an online membership based grocery store committed to making healthy living easy and affordable and their prices are phenomenal they guarantee savings on every order they have tons of organic and sustainable products I love their shopping interface it's so easy to find what you're looking for y'all know I eat a plant-based diet I can go in there and just search by my values which is vegan and everything that comes up is something that I can consume so you can filter their catalog of products by your lifestyle and your diet so it just makes shopping on their site so easy they just have a really good selection of so many products cleaning products beauty products groceries that's what I love them for the most we are in the process of building up our pantry here in the new house so I got some things like some essentials that I always like to have and then I also got a bunch of new items that I just wanted to try because y'all know every time I shop at Thrive Market I like to try different products and just switch it up change it up and test out new things to see if i can find some new favorites but anyway i got these roasted tomatoes y'all know i love these things ah, they're so good they're so juicy and robust and they just taste amazing i ordered these gluten-free baguettes i've gotten these a bunch of times in the past and they just taste so good i got a couple packets of organic taco seasoning you can never have enough of that. I have some organic sprouted garbanzo bean flour. I use this all the time in my cooking. I got this organic mango jalapeno barbecue sauce. Y'all, this stuff is fire. So when I make my crispy fried mushrooms, I like to put this sauce on it sometimes and it just tastes so good. I love this sauce so much. And then the rest of this stuff, I believe are all new products so <laughs> i'm excited to try these and see how i like them first up i have this no dairy spicy queso plant-based dip i thought this would be really good to try with some nachos so we'll see about that also got some whole organic spaghetti squash <laughs> So I'm thinking of making a pasta type dish with this. Maybe make something like a spaghetti with it. I don't know yet. Haven't quite decided, but we shall see. I got two packs of this premium crunchy corn. I thought this would be cool just to have it as a snack. I have these Maxine's Heavenly Delicious Homemade Style Crispy Cookies and Cinnamon Speculoos Crunch. I saw this on the site and it just looked so delicious and they had good reviews so I just wanted to check them out for myself. I got quite a few snacks <laughs> that I wanted to try. I don't know, maybe I was just in a snack mood when I was placing this order. But anyway, I got these Amazing Ginger Lime Jackfruit Chews. This has just fruit and spices and nothing else. So I thought that was pretty cool. Never have tried jackfruit chews. Very interesting. Then these are peanut butter cups. They are gluten-free, no sugar added. I like a good chocolate every once in a while. And then you guys, so this I had to get it because it just seemed so cool. And that is, oh, hold on, look. <laughs> Y'all will never guess what's in this 
bottle. This is like the thing I'm most excited for. So it's this right here. This is non-alcoholic Pinot Noir. And I just thought this would be amazing to pair with popcorn. Just have it as a little nightcap at nighttime when you're winding down, maybe while reading a book like I like to do before bed. I definitely had to get a bottle. I'm gonna be trying this out tonight. I'm really excited about it for some reason. So that is my Thrive order for this go round. You guys can join Thrive Market today and save 30% off your first order and you'll get a free gift worth up to 60 bucks. All you have to do is click this link right here, thrivemarket.com slash the chic natural and you can snag that deal. Now let me take you to my glam room because some developments are happening. Let's go. <laughs> All right, so y'all see what's going on my closet system has been delivered oh just got here yesterday i kind of made a mistake though on the setup so i got this from ikea obviously and when i was configuring it on the website when you're picking things like shelving and things like that it's not the most intuitive to create i don't know i don't know if i'm explaining this right but I ordered the wrong shelves. I ordered mistakenly glass shelves and I do not want glass um, in my closet system. I got the glass shelves and I was supposed to get just solid white shelves. So these are the ones I got. And I knew I messed up when the delivery guy was like, be careful with those because it's glass. And I'm like, wait a minute, there should not be any glass in this order. So I looked and I realized what I did. But when I was selecting the shelving, you really can't tell on the little picture that they give you to, you know, add the options, which one is glass and which one is solid. So I feel like they should make that more clear. I don't know. But anyway, I had to rush to Ikea last night and go pick up the correct shelves. So I got these and these are right. These are just the solid, um, solid shelves and then I had to get a door which is what that is <laughs> so I picked up a door when I went to um, get these shelves as well and I got this because on one side of the on one side of my closet most of it is going to be open because it's going to store my clothing and everything and I was telling you guys that I need for my clothing to be visible and it just helps me to use what I have instead of having it tucked away that just helps me to utilize what I have more if it's you know visual out there in my face but one of the like shelves <laughs> one of the cabinets on the very end is going to have a door to it because that's not going to house clothes that's going to be like for supplies maybe extra things like that things that I don't want shown I don't know if that sounds confusing so I'm going to go ahead and superimpose a picture of what the closet system that I created looks like so you guys can see exactly what I'm talking about but yeah so I got all of this delivered yesterday and um, it came super fast I just ordered it like two days ago I scheduled for someone to come and put it together but then the guy he was supposed to come today but then he messaged me like oh that actually is gonna take longer than <laughs> what I have time for today so can we do it tomorrow and I was like, okay, fine. Cause actually today I need to run out and do some stuff. So it actually worked out better. Hopefully, fingers crossed, this closet system will be put together tomorrow. And then I'm gonna get my carpenter to make it look built in. So what I'm planning to do is to get a base put on it, like to lift it up and to make it higher. And then at the top, I'm gonna have them put like trim at the top so it looks like it's all built into the wall. After that, I'm gonna have it painted and then I can start putting this room together. So I'm gonna tentatively say that this room will be totally complete within the next, let me see, four weeks. Let me give myself four weeks <laughs> because I really do wanna get it up and running so I can, you know, have a functioning space that is just for me where I can get ready, have all my things in one place. That'll just be so helpful. Oh, I also got, let me show you. Also got these drawer organizers. That's gonna go in the, the skinny part of my closet where the door is gonna be. And yeah, it's just so much happening. So much going on. 
Um, but I'm excited. I am giving myself like six months. I want to have this house mostly furnished in six months because I want to feel settled while all this work is going on, while all the furniture is coming in and everything like that. It is exciting, but it's also like kind of stressful at the same time because you don't truly feel like your house is a home because there's people in and out, stuff happening. It's just always something. So I just wanna to get to that point where I can relax and I don't have to think about ordering things, calling people to do stuff and all that stuff. So I am just trying to get the ball rolling on a lot of different items. Hey y'all, it's me a couple days later. I knew I look a little crazy, don't mind, but I had to pop in real quick and show you my closet cause it just got installed. So here it is, all put together. So this is what I was talking about, this panel right here. This is gonna have a door on it, but they didn't have the hinges available at Ikea. They're shipping them to me, so I'm gonna have this door put on once the hinges arrive. So that's gonna be closed, but everything else is gonna be open. Got my drawers down there. And like I was telling you guys, I'm gonna be making this look built in. So I'm gonna have my carpenter make a base for it to raise it up a bit. So I won't have to bend down as much to get to these drawers. And then at the top, he's gonna to put some trim up there to seal in the gap make that all flush and it's gonna look amazing once it's done and then also there's supposed to be a shelf here to block off and separate like this part of the closet from these bottom drawers it's another thing that ikea was out of so i'm probably going to just have my carpenter make those so yeah i ran into a bit of a supply issue on some components of my closets but you know all good things are coming together so i just wanted to come in real quick and show you guys the update okay and back to the video <laughs> oh i wanted to say I wanted to give you guys an update because I've been getting questions about the tiny house. Anyway, just to recap. So yes, I was looking into getting a tiny house when we were in the last house. And somebody has said, well, I don't understand why this is such a big change because you wanted a tiny house and now you moved into a big house. Well, just to clarify that, the tiny house, I was never trying to leave my home and go move into a tiny home full time. I always wanted the tiny home to be a getaway home, a vacation home. It was never going to be my permanent like full-time residence. It was just as somewhere that I could get away to, somewhere that would be you know, secluded and things like that and have a second residence where the upkeep wouldn't be as much as if it were a full-size house. So that was my idea for that. But then I had ran into some issues about where I could actually put a tiny home. There are lots of restrictions on where you can put them. Certain places, they only want you to put certain size homes on land. And I was running into a lot of issues as far as location, because I wanted the tiny home to be in a certain kind of location. And it was just becoming way too much of a headache. And so I kind of put that on the back burner for the time being. Being. however I do still want a tiny home I do still want a tiny home destination house somewhere so I have not given up on it yet I just have put it on pause for right now while we get this house together and then in the future I will revisit the tiny home idea because I do still think it's cool I do still um, I am still interested in it, especially as just to have somewhere that is all mine because y'all know how when I travel, I get kind of squeamish staying in other people's places, being in unfamiliar beds. I love just having somewhere that is mine. I know that it's clean to my standards. And um, so to have a place in another location that I can go to whenever I want is, I mean... It's like the best of both worlds and not having to have so much upkeep as well. So that's the update, you guys. I didn't want you guys to be confused on that because some of you were and you were like, this seems like a big jump from you wanting a tiny home to you getting the house that you're in now. And it's it's totally not. Um, they were two separate things that I wanted. So that's that. All right, so right now I'm about to head out. I have these 
curtain rods that I bought that I need to return. And then I have to go to a furniture store because I'm looking for counter stools. And I just want to try them out in person because sitting on them really makes a difference as far as, you know, I want to make sure they're comfortable and practical and they go with the decor theme that I want. So I'm going to try to find some counter stools today. Hopefully I'm successful. Also got to get a few organizational things while I'm out. Just a lot of house stuff. So that's what I'm about to do. I'll take you guys along. Let's go. So I just left the second furniture store. I don't know what's going on, but the two furniture stores I just went in, they did not even have counter stools on display. Like they didn't even carry them in the store to test out, sit on and all that. So I don't know. <laughs> that was like my whole mission for the day. Find some counter stools. <sighs> Sometimes you just gotta count to 10. Um, <laughs> So I'm going to hit up a few more, see what I can see. First though, I think I'm going to stop and grab some lunch because I'm starting to get hungry and then hit it again. I need to regroup. I did find some chairs. So we have a breakfast nook right off the kitchen and then we also have a formal dining room. I haven't even started <laughs> furnishing the formal dining room yet. But I did order the chair, the, not the chairs, the table for the breakfast nook. But while I was out just now, I saw some chairs that might work. So that is good. And then I picked up a fruit bowl. Because <laughs> I saw this really cute bowl that would be perfect. But I'm hopeful that I look up and I find what I came to find today. Otherwise, I'm just going to have to order maybe a couple different stools online, bring them in, see how they work, and just send back whatever doesn't work. Sometimes I feel like I'm on a wild goose chase for <laughs> like what I'm looking for in my mind. That's the update. Let me go find some lunch, and I'll hit y'all right back. Makeup items. I had to get a oh, far away. Let me move up. <laughs> All right, so I got this primer. This one is the soft matte primer. I've actually been using a different one from NARS that I like a lot, and I wanted to get that one, but this was the only one that they had at the location that I went to, so I picked it up, and hopefully it's good. And then I also got a concealer. This I got in a darker color than what I use under my eyes. I realized I like using this concealer to define my eyebrows. Really easy to use, very creamy, very, you know, good to work with, so I got a slightly darker color for using under my brows and then I got some organizational stuff so I could organize my drawers so this is the first one I got this 10 piece plastic organizer set I'm gonna be using these for my vanity and my master bath to just get everything orderly and tidy I got a couple bins for storage and then I got this six piece organizer set this is for a kitchen, it says kitchen, but I'm either gonna use this again for my vanity in the bathroom or I might use it to organize my, like my desk in my glam room. That's pretty much all I got. By the way guys, how cute and chic and sophisticated is this saucer and teacup set? I love it so, so much. Oh, and the best part about it is this set with the cup and the saucer, it was only, I believe it was $5.95, less than $6. It kind of just makes me feel like I'm having a grown-up tea party whenever I drink out of these. I feel like I should put one pinky in the air while I'm drinking it. It just makes me feel fancy. I like how it's straight up and down like this. To me, it just looks, you know, a bit more classy 
than the ones that are rounded. I don't know, maybe it's just me, but I like the style of them, I like the quality. So if you guys are interested in this set, I will link it below. And then as far as the machine I just used, this espresso machine, we just got it the other day. And I'll link this below as well. I did not find counter stools while I was out. So the search is still on. <sighs> Finding things, <laughs> sourcing items is just like one of the most difficult things about putting a house together because they have to, first of all, everything has to be cohesive and then it has to be the right quality. Sometimes things look good online, but then when you see them in person, it's just totally different. So it's a lot of searching, a lot of trial and error, a lot that goes into it. But I'm still looking. I'm hopeful that soon we will have, we will have counter stools for our kitchen island because we don't have anything right there as of now. So I'll probably go back out tomorrow. <laughs> So yeah, guys, I'm going to go ahead and end the vlog here. Thanks for watching. Be sure to check out Thrive Market. Take advantage of their sign-up deal by clicking the link below. And I will see you on my next one. Bye.